in these type of questions the best option is to reduce points without any devices in between like a and c don't have any capacitor resistor cell in between so you can reduce a and c as a single point at a even c and then don't have any connection so all the three points a c and are at same potential they are single point you can reduce all the three to one single connection same way m h g d d between d and g g and h between h and m nothing is there so you can reduce d is same as g is same as h same as m now feature g and h g and f so g and f also same so g and f nothing so you can put this is same as even f why because g and f don't have anything so g and f are same point g is already same as d point so this together come back to d same way between b and d nothing is there so b is same as e. so reduce extra wires to one single point a c n is single point b and e is another single point f g d h m all are single point so once you redraw this this is the main circuit a b with cell that is 10 volt now this a is same as c and n what all you draw from a c n all three can be drawn from this single point so uh, b is same as e now there's a point d here this is d uh that d is same as g h even same as m even same as f so the first capacitor uh first mean c4 is between c and d c is here d is here so c4 comes between c and d C four, C four value is one picofarad. C four is taken. C six is between B and D. E. So D is here. B and E are same point. So this is C six. C six is two picofarad. So C six is taken. Now C one is between E and F. E is here, F is here. So it will be just between E and F. This that is C one. C one is one peak of error. So C one is taken. Now C two. C two is between N and M. N is here. M is here. So That is connected between those two capacitors. 
This is C2. C2 is one peak of error. So if you take C3 and C5 together as one single capacitor, C35, that is between N and G. N is here, G is here. So that capacitor also between N and G. This is C35. So these two are in series. Three and five both are two. So two and two series will be one peak of five. Now it's reduced to a very simple circuit. C1. C1 and C6 are parallel. C2, C4, and C35 are in parallel. Now this diagram will reduce to so A, this is cell of 10 volt, E, so this single point is D, one single capacitor between these points, that will be C, 2, 3, 4, 5 together, 1 plus 1 plus 1 become 3. Picofarad. There is another capacitor C16 that is also 3 picofarad 1 plus 2. So the single capacitor C16 equal to again 3 picofarad. Now this can be reduced to one single capacitor itself. One single capacitor. This single capacitance will be. So 3 and 3 in series will be 1.5. So 10 volt. So from here we can solve that. C total is 1.5 picofarad. So Q total will be C total into V. 0.5 picofarad into 10 will be 15 picofarad charge to total. Now C16 and C235 are series. That means charge across 16 will be same as charge across 2, 3, 4, 5, which is same as the total charge because C16 and C234 are becoming the total capacitance. That is what we calculated as 15 picofarad. And from this, we can find V16. V16 is Q16 by C16. 15 into Pico. Condition minus 12 by C16. C16 is 3. 3 into condition minus 12. This will give you 5 volt. Since C1 and C6 are parallel, V1 will be equal to, V6 will be equal to, V16, that will be 5 volt. Now, we can find V2345 also. V2345 will be Q2345 by C2345. So Q2345 is again 15 into 10 to the power of minus 6, so minus 12, so divided by C2345 is 3, so 3 into 10 to the minus 12, this also will come as 5 volt. So since these three are parallel, from that we can understand, V4 will be same as V2 will be same as V35 that's equal to V2345 which is 5 volt. So 
now so c3 and c5 c3 and c5 are identical capacitors in series so since they are identical capacitors in series the voltage will be equally divided or have another option we have v35 we can find q35 q35 is equal to c 35 into V35. C35 is 1 picofarad, 1 into 10 to the minus 12. V35 we got as 5 volts. So that be 5 into 10 to minus 12 coulomb. From this, if you want to find charge across Q3 and Q5, that will be same charge through Q3, C3 will be same as charge across C5, which is Q5, which is same as Q, V5 equal to 5 into 10 days to minus 12. So we can find V3S v 3 s q 3 by C3 or so 5 into 10 days to minus 12 by C3 or so 2 into 10 days to minus 12 will be 2.5 volts. So that is same as C5 also because C5 is same. So this value is same as V5. So V3, V5, V1, V6, V2, V4, all the voltages we got. Q3, we got. Q5, we got. <coughs> Q1, Q6, all you can find because we have the voltages here already. So Q1 will be C1, V1. So that is 1 picofarad. V1 is 5, so 1 into 5, with 5 pico coulomb. Now, Q1, we have Q3, Q5, now go for Q2. Q2, Q2, we have V2, V2 is 5. It is 5, so Q2 will be C2 into V2. C2 is again 1 picofarad. Uh, even the voltage of V2 is 5. So it's exactly same as again 5 picofarad. So Q1, Q2, so Q3, Q5, now Q4 and Q6. For Q4, it's same again, 1 picofarad. 1 peak of add into 5. So Q4 is same, again same as 1 into 5, 5 peak of column, Q6, C6 into V6. Uh, V6 is 5, C6 is 2. So 2 into uh, V6 is 5 will be 10, 10 pico coulomb. So Q1, Q2, Q, Q3, Q4, Q6, Q5, all the charges and V3, V5, V4, V2, V1, V6, all the voltages.